here we will use the logical equivalences technique to prove a combined propositions as tautology. Uh, that means no matter what the uh, input combinations, the output is always true. Uh, we are going to use set of laws. So let's get started on this one. So we are going to use the entire, uh, the, uh, if you look at here, P and P implies Q as one purpose combined proposition. It implies Q. So we can uh, pretty much uh, convert the entire stuff using the uh, conditional disjunction, right? So you know what that is. So we're going to do that, okay? P, sorry, not P and P implies Q as one whole thing or Q. That's the one, right? That's, that's the... Anything P imply, maybe I should write like this. A implies B is equivalent to not A or B, right? That was the law we are using here. So we converted the whole problem into the right hand side here. So now we are going to, so we have over here and we have a combined proposition here with a not. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, uh, convert this uh, this uh, condi uh, implication into uh, one more conditional disjunction P and not P or Q and so what we've done is we have just replaced this expression into that. All right. So now we have that and uh, so we can uh, uh, pretty much solve this particular stuff, right? First, let's try to solve that. So we'll continue that with not. Uh, we're going to unwrap that uh, P not P or P not Q. So this is one term and or Q, right? So what we have done is we have multiplied P and with not P to get the term. And again, we have used P not P and with or to get that term, right? P and Q, right? And this OR will remain intact. This OR, okay? So now I, uh, we have that, so we're going to continue. We know P and not P is false, right? We know anything that's always false. So we're going to continue replacing that with false or P and Q or Q, right? So we just continue uh, doing that. And uh, false or something, right? False or any proposition is always A, right? Because now it depends upon A. So we're going to re remove that F altogether. So it's become P and Q. Or Q, uh, or Q. So we're going to, uh, what we've done is we have removed that term. So we don't need that anything, right? Just like here we did. We don't need that anymore. So we are left with not P and Q or Q, right? So this one is De Morgan's law. We can apply the De Morgan's law. So when you uh, uh, replace the digital so we're basically taking the not inside that will become p becomes not p and becomes or q becomes or q and we're going to put q and uh, we can put the parenthesis but eventually we'll see we don't need that see that because everything is or right just like addition three plus five 
plus 4, we can pretty much, eh, we can put everything like that, right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to remove the parenthesis, so that will become not P or not Q or Q. And then we have, uh, if you look at here, not Q or Q. What does it mean? It means true, right? So not P or true. And uh, anything you know, anything true with a or with a proposition will always be true. So we end up true. All right. So this combined proposition P and P not Q implies Q is, is, is what is called a modus exponent. So we'll talk about that. It's one of the uh, fundamentals of logic reasoning. But we're not going to be worried about that, right? So we're going to solve one more problem on a tautology, right? Hang in here. Now we have a combined proposition and we have to prove that um, uh, this is a tautology, all right? Uh, this this is a little bit involved, so you may have to pause the video at every step and analyze, okay? Uh, so we have this entire combination. We can consider the entire combination as something like the A implies B, right? So it will not A or B, right? The conditional disjunction. So we are going to do that. We're going to uh, take the entire stuff, entire stuff here, and uh, convert into this form. So uh, this whole thing is a, a. This whole thing is a a, right? So not p or q, and we have to make sure that we don't lose the parenthesis. They are very key, and not p or all right, and or q or okay so this is so we converted the whole thing into this format and uh, we have uh, the next step is to use the de morgan's law to take this this uh, uh, this and not uh, into this parenthesis into this parenthesis right we need to con Take it inside so when you when i say take it inside we know the shortcut right so it's not p or q and this becomes and becomes or and this becomes not not p or and uh, or and q or all right so we used De Morgan's law to from here to here. The rock is not rocket science, believe me. Now we are going to take uh, the uh, uh, convert this again. Uh, so we're going to keep writing this particular term as is for now, or we can, and then take this negative inside negative inside so so what happens uh, not p becomes p or becomes and or becomes not or okay if you were kind of confused just pause the video you'll understand all i did was i just used this term Simplified it using De Morgan's law. That's it. Okay. All right. I can even go take it this particular stuff, this and this not inside. So let's take the not inside using De Morgan's law. So P becomes not P, or becomes and not Q. Okay, so leave that for now. And uh, this one is P and 
sorry, not R. We should be make sure that we don't drop any symbols, right? And I'm going to rearrange this Q R as R Q, and we can drop this uh, bracket parenthesis Y. Remember, I told you A plus B plus C. If you have it, something like that. I can rearrange this to A plus C plus B, right? I can uh, drop the parenthesis. So that's what I did. Now I have this. Uh, uh, now I'm going to, uh, you, as you see, this is OR. This is OR. This is OR, right? This is proposition OR. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to merge these two, these two. Okay? That means I'm going to multiply each. So you have to be a little careful. I'll try to probably go slow here. Okay. So we'll keep it as is. Now what I'm going to do is take this, multiply this or, multiply this or, this or with him, with P and multiply the uh, basically use the distributive law right so let, let's go and do that not the commutative law associative law all the thing you need to have a handy with you so i'm going to just uh, uh, clean up that thing so i'm going to that way is easy for you so i'm going to do that so I'm going to make a big parenthesis, big parenthesis, and all Q will remain the same. This all Q will remain the same. And so now, so this becomes P or Q like that, right? And not R. So that's what it becomes. So you need to little pause the video and how I expanded, uh, maybe write down here for you, okay? Let's say we have A and B or C. So what we are going to do is A or C intersection B or C. This is what they, we did exactly, okay? So if I want a little bit clarity for you, I have used that particular term and change it to here. And this one, maybe a little, let's do neat, neat work, right? Neat work, okay? So we got that. So now you see, uh, if we pause the video, you will probably know here and not or with or is what true right it's always true so this is true and uh, so true and something is always something right when you have a true uh, and with some p is always p right so we'll end up dropping this and we just leave p or or right so we'll do that not P and not Q. So we have that. So we're going to just use the P or and Q. We are only left with that, right? We're only left with that. Now you see everything is or, 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 right? See here, this is or. This is R and this is R. So we are going to do the same thing here. We're going to drop the parenthesis and rearrange. And uh, now we are going to use the P term to get into, we're basically trying to drop each and every term. Then you realize, ah, that's what is done. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the P multi this term into this term right 
So let's do it. See, I have multiplied this p with this terms in the parenthesis and expanded. Now you see not p or p is always true, true and with something is always we know that right. So this is can be dropped because this is true and actually if you if it have been or then we solve the problem but because and we cannot solve right there so. We can drop that, so we are left with not p, not q, we have that, right? Now if you see everything is or, 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 and or, right? So we can drop the parenthesis, we can drop the parenthesis, so it's not q, or P or and Q and we can rearrange all these terms with not Q or P or now if you see this particular term is true Because that's true and every term is or or right. So anything true with any proposition is always true because we have or here. So the whole thing is true. When the whole thing is true, we call that as a tautology. And you can also prove this with a table, right? You can also use this as table and prove it. So that is the simple examples of tautology, all right? So practice it and you'll be fine. Thank you.